Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome to Let's Play Gauntlet. This is a game that I have been waiting for for, well, shit, ever since the end of Gauntlet 7 Sorrows, and we all know how horrifying of an experience that was, and how sour of a taste it left in our mouths for years. <laughs> but not anymore, because everything that I have read and seen about this game has just been awesome. When I found out that it was coming out on Steam, I pre-ordered my copy immediately. I uh, downloaded it this morning, I went off to work, and it's literally been the only thing I've been thinking about virtually all day. So I'm super pumped for this entire thing, and I hope that you guys decide to rock with me on this journey, because it's going to be all sorts of fun. And by the way, I don't know what classic mode is, so anybody that does know what it is, uh, do tell. Because I'm kind of intrigued by it, but I don't really want to enable it until I know what it does. So, I got everything set up the way that I wanted to. The only thing that I'm bummed out about, a little bit is when you do, uh, I, I did a little tiny, I play a little bit of this game for like five minutes, and in doing that, there was this little segment right before this spot right here where they actually have you play as all four characters individually, and you get to kind of like, you know, learn the ropes of all of them and see all of their moves and all this stuff. It's like a little mini tutorial, and I really wish that I would have been able to go back and do that part for you guys, but for whatever reason, once you go through it once, you can't do it again. And I, I'm i kind of bummed out by that, because it was really cool. Like, you actually get to see all their moves, and you get to test them out on, on you know, like some undead zombie guys. But, unfortunately, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. So we're going to have a regular night out. A regular gauntlet night out, I'm sorry. Slaying some monsters and having a good time. I love the fact that the unfair mode, it just says, we're so sorry. <laughs> I think that's great. So we'll do normal first, and then maybe we'll go back into harder difficulties later on. So here we are at the character select screen. Now normally, in a Gauntlet Dark Legacy, which is up to now my favorite Gauntlet installment of all time, um, I think the order of my favorite characters would be the Elf, followed by the Wizard, and then like a weird toss-up of these two. But I think that my two favorites, as it is right now, after playing through the first time just to kind of learn the ropes, still going to be the Elf. Uh, elf is always my jam. That's that's totally what's up. And then I kind of like the Valkyrie second. Like, she's totally awesome. Like, the Warrior's cool, but, I mean, it's it's like a warrior in every other goddamn game. So I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's not really my style. And then the Wizard, I'm actually... The wizard's kind of tough, because there's a lot of button combinations that go into utilizing him properly. So, I think just out of the spirit of not having to think really hard, <laughs> we're going to roll with the elf on this one. So, let's do it. Plus, dude, how badass is that? He just looks awesome. Totally down with the whole thing. Let's go, my friends. And we get to use a uh, an actual gamepad for this, so it feels weird. Like, I was actually expecting to have to play this on the keyboard, which you can. Um, but we're not rolling that way. Welcome. I am Morak, the only wizard powerful enough to have summoned the gauntlet. This astral manifestation of my powers is a trial where only the strongest will prevail. Find the three lost shards of Tirfing and bring them to me. And I will grant you power and riches unimaginable. It's either that or I'm totally going to be a bastard no and stab you in the back later on. All the shards. I don't expect you to make it. But go on. Amuse me. Well, just because you said I'm not going to, I'm totally going to do it now. that quest up? The magical sword bit sounds nice, though. Maybe it could be traded in for a gold sword, though. Yeah, our characters all have voices now, which that's kind of strange. That was not something that I really had expected when I first saw this. So this is obviously new. I didn't. I have this. This is all new to me at the moment. So we've got different items and shit that we can get our hands on. We'll deal with that all later, though. So basic attacks here. I got to figure out exactly what I'm doing because when I was doing when I was doing the playthrough initially with this, I was using the keyboard. So I got to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. So we got dodge roll. Ooh. That's weird. Light attack with the actual left, with the right stick, huh? That's, uh, that's kind of weird. Sniper shot with trigger bomb over there. Okay. That's actually not too bad. I, I can get used to that. Oh my god, this is, oh, this is awesome! This control scheme reminds me of, uh, like, Robotron 2084. That's, that's actually really smooth. I like every part of that. And we can leave bombs. We have this really cool sniper shot thing that you can adjust your aiming with later on. Man, this is awesome. I'm digging this whole this whole 
sequence of things here. Hey guys, sorry about that. I accidentally uh, hit the keyboard with my elbow and it ended up going... It, like, minimized the window and it ruined my recording, so jumping back in here again, everything's all good now. So now that we kind of have a grasp of what we're doing, and I just shot the vendor right in the leg, let's go take our first dungeon here, see what happens. By the way, I read something really fucking stupid today. Uh, it was something that happened in, here in Oregon, like, just, or, or I think it was earlier today, actually, and these, it was like these two kids uh, in Corvallis. Let's see how oh, you boy. fare against the power of the dead. Well, so humans built this place to hang around and once they're dead? I don't get it. Oh, wait, they're undead. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> sure does. Ooh. We've got plenty of gold over here. This is good. Yeah, I like this. What's relic charge? Oh, I, I've seen this, actually. We have these special relics that we can that we can use. Can we... Aha, we can get more this way. Okay, I like that. Man, I am going to absolutely... Totally overdo it with getting gold and whatnot here, but hey, sometimes you just gotta do it. So, <laughs> man, this is really smooth. I really like the way that the controls are here. It's it's actually it's a lot better than I was thinking. It's it's a little bit of a different concept than um, oh, I need to get a key. A little bit of a different concept than the way that you know Gauntlet Dark Legacy was, um, where you know you're. Because you can just do all this on the fly, like it's not like that where you'd have to kind of stop and then shoot and stop and shoot, or you could stay in one spot and shoot. You're just you just are able to do it seamlessly, and I love that. All right, so do we shoot our way? We sure do. All right, we've got action. All right, so here's the bomb in action, by the way, because it's awesome. Boom! <laughs> oh boy. How awesome is that, by the way, that the elf gets a really cool tactical move like that that you can just totally rip people to shreds with? I think one thing that I love about the like the Valkyrie that I'll eventually do at some point is that she has this awesome fucking like lunging spear move uh, that she can do, and it's super cool. And I actually almost debated uh, picking her to start with, but I decided not to just because I'd be going against everything that I ever that I ever knew in my life. But yeah, so this whole thing um, that I read earlier, it's just, it's so, like, infuriating. Oh, corrupted mummies, these are new. Whoa, and they shoot things at us. Well, it's nice to know that we're at least dealing with some projectiles early. Uh, these kids, it was, in a, it was in Corvallis, and apparently, um, they got in trouble for starting an 86-acre fire because they were smoking weed and one of them dared the other one <laughs> to light a patch of dry grass on fire and they did it or he did it like and these kids were like 15 and 16 years old so you would have thought that maybe they would have had oh my dear god all right well i got an idea on how to do that let's bomb the shit come on come on oh my god okay all right they're here they are definitely here and we need to do this evasion roll is going to be so key later on. I love the fact that we have one of those, and that is great. Oh my god. Hoi. Yeah, we really need to take that thing out. We need to do it fast. The longer it hangs around, the worse. We have that sniper shot, but I don't... I feel like... Eh, it's actually pretty good, actually. It's just, it takes time to, to do it. That's, I think, my biggest qualm with it. Yeah, take some more by burning stuff. Oh my dear God, is the only way I can do damage to this thing via bombs? Seems like it. Yeah, all right. Well, that was good. <laughs> had a little under a little bit of duress here early. That's that's interesting. But yeah, like you would think they would have had some fucking common sense to not be like, hey, we're both fucking roasted out of our gourd. I got an idea. Let's light some grass on fire and potentially kill a bunch of people in an 86 acre radius. I mean, obviously, I don't I don't think there were any deaths of any kind, but what if there was? Like, what if that would have happened? Then what happens? Boy, this could get kind of tricky. Those those keys are so like they they blend into the environment so well. I could I could totally see that being a problem at some point. But for now, it's not too bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God, I love his evasion roll. That's that's definitely 
Probably my favorite thing so far about this. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we just need to go back down this way. I can just, I can only imagine what this would be like playing with four people. It'd be really cool. I think that at some point I'd totally love to do that, but me being me, I, I am a guy that absolutely adores playing alone. I, I really do. Mainly because you do get the benefit, whoa, okay. You do get the benefit of all of the, uh, of getting all the gold you don't have to share with anybody, because hey, I'm greedy like that. Oh, relics, yeah, I want to I try this, actually. How do we do it? I do not know how. Oh yeah, step on it, bitch! Oh, oh, that was good. I feel like there's got to be another way to do damage to these things. Because we're not really... Oh, there we go. Okay, so my sniper shot can do it. So you can only, you can only damage these generators with stronger attacks. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's a little bit different than the other gauntlet games where any attack would do. God, this control scheme is really, it's really, it feels good. It really does. I'm, I think I'm probably the most pleased about that over anything at this, at this moment. I could really use a key right now, too. That would also be something that I would be smitten with joy about. But I don't see anything yet. Oh, we just went in a big circle. What the hell? Maybe, maybe if we go through here, we can find one. Oh, hey, one of you guys. Oh my god, another one? Yeah, they're everywhere. That still really kind of gets me that our character has a voice. I'm so used to, like, these people not having voice at all outside of the, the whole, like, the whole, like, you know, noise they make when they get hit by stuff, and, like, the food is good type of noise, too. So, I kind of I kind of like that they actually have an identity now. It's a little bit different than, like, the Metroid, uh, Metroid Other M moment, where they're like, oh, her voice, it's really annoying and weird and awkward. No key to be found anywhere, though, huh? Alright. See what's up. We'll get it eventually. I just have to remember to go all the way back there and see what's up. Whee! Okay, so hold on a second. I want to see what's up with this whole... Activate Relic 1 and 2. I wonder if we actually have to get the thing all the way up before we can use it. Oh shit. Okay, this could be a problem. But I won't let it turn into one. <laughs> Holy shit, man. There are a lot of things that we can open up with uh, with keys right now. Oh boy. Oh god, this is going to get me into trouble. Hey! Step on it, bitch! Yeah! Okay, we can definitely only kill one person at a time with that. That, that, oh, explosive barrels. I could be down with that, oh. Yes, blow up. Completely blow up, yes, this is good. Oh, whoa. Did they just, did one of them respawn? It looks like it respawned. Oh shit, oh god, not good. Getting kind of sloppy in here. You're getting sloppy, Mario, you son of a bitch. Oh, wait a minute, we can, we can carry these things? When did that happen? Jeez. The guy just went martyr on that shit like, If I can't live, nobody's going to! Alright. So, where might I take this? Can I just go blow up one of these... Can I take it back here and blow up these uh, these giant doors? Because I'm hoping. I'm a hoping and a praying at this point. Come on, baby. Blow it up! Oh, that's a bummer. I mean, it was worth a try. Man, it is pouring down rain out there right now. But yeah, kids, 15 and 16 year old kids, smoking all the dope, and then lighting a bunch of shit on fire. Oh, I'll bet there's something right here, actually. Let's just test the theory. Oh, yeah. If there's anything that Zelda games taught us is that that is absolutely a thing. <laughs> And now we can go open up both of these things, actually. Let's go back here first. Boom, 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 boom. Imagine getting one of those just shooting right up into your genitals. That'd be the ultimate worst thing. Oh, it opens up the whole thing. I like it. I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. Ooh, 1536 on the gold. Two points off of my, of my favorite sequence in numbers. All right. Let's see what's going on in here now. 
Who wants a bomb for dinner? You guys do. I can see it. Man, those guys have some serious issues with the whole blowing up madness. I like how the longer you keep this thing active, it like actually focuses in like pinpoint. It almost like penalizes you for taking longer to aim. Which I you know, I'm I don't have a problem with that. I kinda actually like that. It kinda forces you to think a little bit quicker on your on your toes. Got a little bit of potato on his hooves. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna draw them all in here. This is gonna be the perfect moment. This magic moment when I send more dead people to graves. Oh god. You want some more? You want some of this? I'll bet you do. God, I love that. I love that the way they die, it's so simple the way they die, but it's so satisfying at the same time. Oh! Perfect. One down. Let's take out the other ones while we're at it. Have you ever thought about, like, how badly it would hurt to get totally just obliterated by, like, a bow and arrow? Especially with a guy that really knows how to use it and can put a lot of force into it. Like, I've always thought about getting, you know, killed via, like, getting shot with a gun or stabbed with a knife. But, imagine, like, living in that time where people were using bow and arrow and just getting shot, like, right square in the chest with that and how badly that would hurt for a few... Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily die immediately unless you probably got one, like, right square in the heart or something. But you'd have to just sit there. I mean, it'd be very similar to gunshot fire, because you're obviously not going to die immediately with gunshots unless it's in the right spot. But fuck, that would hurt so bad. You get one like right in the right right in the leg, and you're just like, oh god! It hurts so much! Just cut the fucking leg off! I don't even care anymore! Man, we are really getting we are getting just loads of dudes. Or women, I mean, you know. This is not necessarily a sexist tomb. We're not dealing solely with just men and just men in here. Could be more. Okay, we need to take him out. We need to we need to do a better. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to actually do a better job of actually killing people in this. In the, oh no, this is a bad place to be. Shit, that was not good. How do we? How do we? How do we? How do we come back? I don't know how to come back. Oh no. Okay, we just respawn on our own. <laughs> that was cool. Not expecting that one. I don't know if we can do that multiple times or not. I'm really not banking on it. Well, it's nice to know that if you die, you're not forced to go back and do the whole thing over. That's definitely a different thing than uh, than any of the other Gauntlet games, or at least like the like the uh, Gauntlet Legends or Dark Legacy series. I mean, if you died, you were just fucking screwed. Had to go back to Sumner's Tower and start all over again and be pissed off for a solid five minutes. Okay, we're good now. Boy, that is not going to be a fun room to go into. Good lord above. Oh boy. Come on, come on. We gotta take this thing out fast. I'm getting tired of these things spawning too many people for us to handle. Should probably kill that guy while we're at it, because he's just sitting there firing those things off like it's no big deal. Come on. Here we go. It's a great thing that our uh, that our archer or our elf or whatever you want to call it, and he's got infinite ammo. Like imagine playing these games if you didn't have infinite ammo of stuff. <laughs> you just they gave you like a set amount of of munitions, and there's like, hey, we hope this will work out for you. If not, then well, you're gonna be in for a long night. Whee! I gotta utilize that that evasion roll a little bit more. I'm getting kind of kind of sloppy with the whole thing. Uh, uh. I know, thanks for telling me. Oh, here we go, another... Oh, I shot the damn thing. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. It definitely will penalize you for that sort of thing. Oh, we can just jump across? That would have definitely come in handy a time or two. The old Tampa 2. Alright. Let me guess. 
Let me guess, could it be another summoning thing? I'll bet that's gonna happen at one point or another. crazy thing is that this is only the first dungeon we're in. Imagine how fucking crazy this is going to get once we get like a lot further in the game where they're totally relentless with everything. That would be something else. Alright, this is a nice place to stop for now. I'm going to try to make all the videos about this length just because 15 minutes is good. I feel like anything less would be too short. Anything more than that would be a little bit too long. This one's just right, like the porridge. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gauntlet, we are going to finish up this first dungeon, hopefully, without dying again, and then uh, we'll move on and see what we can get from there. So, until then, my friends, this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.